In the last video, we kind of started finalizing our zombie's death. So, for example, you shoot them, he ragdolls, their AI controller gets disabled, and after X amount of seconds, the corpse gets cleaned up, which pretty much is just getting destroyed. But we want to alter the points so that we get the points kind of dictated by how it's set up, if I'm saying that right. Oh, ignore that change. Uh, so pretty much the way it's set up in War to War, until it's end, so I need to disable that line, oh well, is you only get the multiplier when you actually get a kill on the zombie. And currently, based on where we hit, we're getting that multiplier. So we want to change it so we only get 10 points per hit, but we get that multiplier if the, the uh, hit was a kill shot. So that's what we're going to end up figuring out. So we kind of want to separate this function up a little bit. And I'm trying to think of what would be the best way to do that. I think what I'm going to do is make it return an ID. So what I mean by that is a limb shot will return 1, torso 2, neck 3, and head 4. And if nothing hit, return 0. So that way we can figure out easily just with integers, not having to do multiple string comparisons, what part was hit, and go from there. So let's go ahead and start. So let's do so uint 8, get hit part, let's pass in string, bone, name. Also, if you're wondering why my stuff looks different, I am trying out ReSharper. Basically, just due to the slow speed of IntelliSense making it a pain. And I gotta say, I, I really do like it. So, now we have this get hit part. I'm gonna move it down to right above our get points per kill. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy everything inside of get points per kill. Paste it up here. And remove the decrement health. On each and simply return. So for the limb, return one. For the torso, I'm going to return two. Neck, I want to return three. For the head, let's return four. So I'm going to comment this. So neck hit and head hit and nothing hit like so. So not sure what the green line is supposed to. Eh, I don't know. I don't care all that much. So let's go ahead and get the hit part. So you do int 8, hit part equals get hit part. Let's return bone name. Let's actually wrap this in if statement. So if hit part. And this pretty much means hit part is not equal to zero, because if it's equal to zero, nothing really was hit. Okay, what does this mean? I don't know. This is like literally the first time I've used ReSharper, so I'm not entirely sure what in the world is going on or what that means. <laughs> so let's see. We're getting the hit part. And what I want to do... Ah! I want to move this increment points into hit part like so so that way if any like valid point was hit we get it and let's see so we have the hit part I'm gonna go ahead and make a comment so that way we can read it so 0 equals none 1 equals limb 2 equals neck, no, torso and three equals head. Here, one, two. I feel like I'm missing something. I need the neck. So three equals neck and four equals head. That's what it was. So now, hopefully, if we hover over it, we should be able to see the comment if it decides to pick it up. So why are you wrapped in parentheses? Ah, screw it. Oh, now it works. So, yeah, 0, 1, I mean, 0, none, 1, yeah, yada, yada, yada. 
So we have the value. So we can perform a switch, get part. And keep in mind, I'm just kind of winging this right now. So let's see here. We know what part we're hitting. I want to go ahead and get the points per kill. And I want to revoke it. I'll get rid of everything and make it take in a uint8 and call it hit part. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually return the, um, the points on here and do the switch on that or the switch statement on the get hit part function. Let's make it take in a uint8. Get points for kill. Oh wait, whoops. Get points for kill. That's my fault. And now I should be good to go. Which it is. I need to disable until it sets squigglies to get rid of that annoying random crap, I think. And what we're gonna pass in is let's see. If you int eight points for hit equals get points for kill. Here, I want to change it to get points for hit. And what we're going to pass in is hit part, like so. Now let's rename it. So get points for kills, now get points for hit. I'm going to comment this out. OK, so let's print it out real quick. So UE log, log temp, warning, text, hit points and points for hit. Okay, and now let's simply add the points. So copy our what we had before. What we're going to pass in for the parameter is points for hit, like so. So now we need to alter our get points for hit function. We're going to perform a switch on hit part. Now we're only going to perform the switch if the zombie died. So if we need to apply the damage, so let's just call it, let's see, decrement health. What we're passing in for damage. So where do I call it? Oh, right, I was passing it in based on the hit. Uh, we're going to pass in just a default hit of 50 at the moment. So let's see if health minus 50 is less than or equal to zero, we perform the switch. Otherwise, return 10. So now we're going to do the cases. So if case, now let's see, what's one. Oops. So if the hit part is equal to one, we want to return. Oh, what was it that we had before? Check on the website again. Uh, it is. Wait, nope, that's all. Pretty sure I don't think the points. Okay, let's not see a zombie how many points. That's how I found it. It was on the fandom. Okay. So here we have that. Uh, set it to the right. And set you to the left, to the right. So if we hit one, which is the limb, we're going to return 50. We hit the torso, we're going to return 60. We hit the neck, we're going to return 70. We hit the head, we're going to return 100. And let's do a default 
of returning zero. Error. Yeah, default, so one should, I mean, zero should be the default as well. I'm actually doing a check on that, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's see. Should be returning everything as intended, so I'm going to go ahead and compile and see what all we got. I guess I'll zoom in a little more too if that makes it easier for you all to see. I keep zooming out whenever I work on my personal stuff, and then when I come back to this, I find I'm zoomed too far out and it's hard to read when I watch the videos again, or if I, especially if I watch it on my phone as a test. And it's just horrible. <laughs> but I can't quite get into that habit. Okay, be compiled. And let's see where, oh, we never actually called the damage, I just realized. So we should only be getting 10 points. So, hit points 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, and so on. So we need to do the damage. So this can be based on the hit part. And what I'm going to do is while we're going to return, also going to... Do a little bit more so let's see here 50 so hit part i want to do a check so if as authority not a huge fan of that auto fill all right i'm going to neaten this up because this is pretty horrible If has authority, what we're going to do is we're going to decrement the damage or the health by calling decrement health, which I guess we can actually just flat straight up call because we're already doing an authority check, so it's not going to matter too much. So, yeah, I want to do that instead. So, I want to recall decrement health and pass in. Let's see. Yeah, we'll do 50 as the default. And not do anything for the default. So, let's see. Health minus 50 is less than or equal to 0. We're still going to be decrementing the health. Otherwise, we want to return 10. And we're just going to decrement the health by 50. So let's go ahead and compile. And the reason I'm doing it this way is I want it to be responsive on the client. Even if the zombie doesn't die right away on the client, I still want him to get the rewarded points for a technically a kill. Two. And we got 60. At least that's what it said. So, yeah, it's incrementing by 60. One, two, I'm going to hit the head. It added by 100. Two, I'm going to hit the limb. Went up by 50. And torso, 60. I can't really hit the neck very easily, but... So that seems to be working, at least on the server. Let's test with the client. Two and three. Okay. Two, three. So we're having a slight issue with the points and us having to wait for them to be replicated. But it's not too big of a deal, and that can be something that we can come back and fix later. 
but we're at least getting the correct amount of points. So I'm going to leave this for now as just the basic setup is good to go. And whenever we actually get into having, you know, multiple weapons that deal different damages based on whatever it is that the game War to War actually does it by, I'm not entirely sure I had to reread it, we will come back to this and really refine it. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and stop this video, and I think in the next one we're going to start working on the round system. So that way we can have a kind of a continuous series of respawns and that kind of thing. So I will see you then.